So the chimpanzee actually has legs like it's like one of its ancestors called the Charlacotherium. Mm -hmm. So moving on to the baboon here, which can actually attack very dangerous predators such as lions, cheetahs, and lots of other predators ruling the African savanna. So moving on to the gorilla here, which actually has a big ancestor, if you know the movies, called King Kong. Mm -hmm. And its prehistoric real ancestor is called Gigantopachius. So the gorilla here is actually whitish black, like a lot of Asian gorillas. Moving on to the mandrel here, which is actually in the Calgary Zoo. You can find it in the African plains of Calgary Zoo. And, it's, it, and it's a herbivore, and it does not eat meat like these predators do. So moving on to the monkey here, which is actually very far. That's why if you see me not tap on this monkey, it's okay. So by the way, the monkey is smaller than the baboon, which is actually very wrong. Because monkeys are almost a little higher than their cousin, a baboon. And did you know bab mo baboons and monkeys are actually relatives? Well, and then the spy, and then the Columbus, the, the chimpanzee and the gorilla, these three are in a separate group too. And if we mix them together, we call them primates, okay? Okay. Moving on to the last row, which we have an artwork here. It's an animal in, you know, Africa. It's a herbivore and has a long nose. It's actually related to elephants, wolves, and lots of other things that are like this. So the artwork, which has literally no defense except its legs and its tusks to swat it down, swat enemies down. Moving on to the meerkat, if you want to go to Calgary Zoo or Australia Zoo in the Africa location, that's where you can see these furry guys. So these furry guys you see here are actually not dangerous actually not that dangerous because they go and hurt and they're socialized to humans they're like primates right moving on to the second bird here the ostrich and the first one i represented it can't fly and it's a omnivore meaning it eats both mm -hmm. meat and berry okay so an ostrich here did you know it can't fly Oh, really? And it has the biggest eggs, and it's the biggest bird, but it can't fly. You do you know why? We mm. look at that big body. It can't lift up this. Okay. Well, did you actually know the ostrich is faster than a few other herbivores or carnivores here? Okay. Moving on to the warthog, mm. which is very small under the gorilla. Mm. It looks like a pig with tusks. And it looks so much like a hybrid, but it's actually not a hybrid. Mm. So, look at the warthog here. It's smaller than it usually is. That's the only mistake mm. with this. Moving on to the jackal here, which actually is very small like the warthog, but a little taller. Under the mandrel. So, it's really small, you see, but it doesn't mean it's not powerful. It can deal up with the lion and a cheetah and a leopard or a jaguar and maybe even some other herbivore. And this is an omnivore, so it eats plants and meat. Moving on to the vulture here. So the vulture can fly and it's an Africa animal. So that means it roams the trees of Africa. Eats, it eats meat and sometimes berries. Mm. 